We are going to uh, we are going to head to Angela D Donato. I'm going to unmute you, Angela. Are you able to hear? I am. I'm here to hear you. Wonderful. Okay. Angela serves as the president of the Pennsylvania Association of Nurse Anesthetists for Pennsylvania. Um, she has um, been working on legislation, Senate Bill 325, which was sponsored by Senator uh, Gordner, that passed the Senate again last year unanimously and is also in that same committee, referred to that same committee in the House, the House Professional Licensure Committee. Um, what this legislation does is uh, recognize certified registered nurse anesthetists um, for their training and expertise and education that they have accumulated. And this title designation legislation is something that they've been working on now for a decade. And so again, now is the time to act. Angela, would love for you to share a little bit about what this legislation would do, why it is particularly important um, in the context of this current COVID-19 pandemic, um, and why you believe that we can get it done once and for all if we all come together. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you so much, Ashley, for allowing us to have this opportunity. So Senate Bill 325, as you said, passed through the Senate unanimously, would simply give us title designation. So in the state of Pennsylvania, CRNAs are listed as registered nurses. We don't have the same advanced scope of practice that nurse practitioners have um, and the same um, different designation. So this bill um, got pushed to the House. It's House Bill 1064. It's being sponsored by Tara Chuhill. And um, what it would do was simply let us be um, characterized as CRNAs in the state and not as RNs. Um, why this is important right now is because CRNAs have a, a critical skill set, especially during this pandemic. We manage ventilators all day long. That's what we do. That's part of our job. Um, we have a skill set in putting in central lines and putting arterial lines and in taking care of really critically ill patients, especially critically ill patients um, with respiratory issues because, as I said, we're managing ventilators all day long. And unfortunately, many institutions aren't able to use us to the full scope of our capacity because we're registered nurses and registered nurses uh, in their institutions cannot manage ventilators. So um, we're really, we have a 3,200 certified um, nurse anesthetists in the state who are unable to participate to the full extent of their authority, even if their institutions need them to do that because of the way the legislation is right now. So this, particular piece of legislation will simply say, you know, you are CRNAs um, practicing under your um, regulations as, as normal. So it wouldn't even change our scope of practice. But at this stage of the game, Ashley, and this is a really interesting piece of it. So suppose the state of Pennsylvania wanted to activate all CRNAs to work to do some specific task during this pandemic. They can't. They can't find us because we're in the same bucket as the 250,000 250, RNs that are in this state. So they would have to reach out to our national certifying body to find out who we are. Wow, and tell us about the impact if you want to deploy for a humanitarian effort to a state maybe that is having a, a, supply, um, a supply issue with CRNAs. This, this has proven to be quite prohibitive, um, not having this title designation. Correct. Yeah, that, that's correct, Ashley, and that's a, that's a great question. So unfortunately, in states where, which most states, all states throughout the country, with the exception of us at this point, mm -hmm. um, recognize CRNAs as APRNs. Since we don't have that title designation in our state, it does not transfer to any other state. So therefore, we are limited in, in doing any kind of humanitarian um, mission or, or anything like that. And, and especially too in the military, this becomes really important. Our colleagues who are from Pennsylvania in the military have to gain licensure, APRN licensure from another state in order to be deployed and practiced um, throughout the military. 
Wow. So thank you so much for joining us. I just want folks to understand this is a technical change in the PA nursing law, but the implications are, are not just technical. They are really, truly life-saving. And again, right now, it's not business as usual. It's not an ordinary session. Now is the time for folks to, um, and members, frankly, to step up um, and really have a profound um, impact on changing the trajectory of how healthcare um, is accessed and provided 